welcome back to my channel look what lies before us this beautiful spread of escovish fish rice and peas salad and plantain we are feasting today all right so stay tuned all right let's get things sailing all right so we have four large fish these are about maybe a pound to a pound and a half they're very long and they're very big you can see they're heavy let me get my lime ready because you know fish have that raw smell I always rub it down with a little lime you can use lemon if you have vinegar anything just just clean them up there's a lane so that's the lane snapper is the name of this fish so if you go to the market they don't have your red snapper or there's yellow tail snapper so many different um, fishes in the snapper family this is the next great fish so I'm just cleaning these up I'm gonna get the scales off I'm gonna get these extra the fins the you know just clean them up this one trying to get away already <laughs> all right so we're gonna clean them up cut all the excessive um see the tail make it look nice and pretty um that's a great thing you can cook but you want your food to also be presentable so when you whip this recipe out at a, a little family function they're gonna be like wow your fish them look nice everything looking good beautiful yep saw it on the Raina's kitchen all right so let's get everything going and i'm gonna wash these off and um, season them up and everything's gonna be so nice all right so even though that you pay the farmers market that extra dollar to clean them because if you don't pay the extra dollar they're not cleaning them you can look at the price it says cleaning and non cleaning fishes over here this there's always scales like up under the, the fish neck by the head the tail there's like scales you know that they miss so you just have to just go over them and just clean them up well because nothing worse than eating your delicious meal and then you're sitting there fighting with scales all right so i'm gonna dump them out this container i'm gonna go ahead and put them in my big strain over the sink strainer you can also get one of these on amazon as well they're on my amazon storefront um it's an over the sink strainer just gonna wash them off because you can see there's some scales sitting in that basket as well just continue to um spray them down All right, so give them another bath. Spray all that excessive. There's a lot of loose scales from me, you know, scraping and everything. So just make sure you clean out inside, even though it's already gutted. Just, you know, rub inside. Make sure you trim out everything. See a little bit more scale right there as well. Um, just get everything off and use that lime. Just keep using your lime. And after I use the lime, I'm gonna wash them off again. Let me just wash out my container. You can also get one of these large containers on Amazon. We call these pudding pan in Jamaica. I don't know why they call it a pudding pan, but I guess it's big enough to it's big enough to cook, it, cook anything. I can I can put about 15 to 20 pounds of meat in there, so it's large enough to hold anything. So just go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and pat dry them down. Make sure everything comes off and you know dry them up well you don't want your fish to be too watery it, it will cause it to stick in the when you're ready to fry them so yeah just clean everything out look inside just make everything looks nice and pretty and then we're gonna move on to the next step all right so we're gonna move on to our seasoning i am making the escovish sauce I'm using carrot, onion. I'm using actually, all right, so I got my sweet pepper, about a quarter of a sweet pepper, two different onions. I'm using the sweet onion on the left and then the yellow onion on the right, even though it's green, but it's called yellow onion. I like to mix the onions. All right, so I'm using one carrot. Um, I'm gonna use that julienne peeler, that right there, the one, just, um, the silver one, stainless steel one. It, 
makes it so easy. You can buy pre-shredded carrots if you'd like, but I, I prefer this version. Um, this always looks natural and has a better taste. And I have on the left, um, that right there is fish seasoning and sugar. I'll list everything in my description box and I'm using about three half of scotch bonnet pepper. I'm just doing it for the colors. So, and um, that is actually my green onion. I'm gonna be putting that in the oil along with a piece of garlic and that whole scotch bonnet pepper there. And to the back, you'll see this right here. Actually, I have jerk seasoning. That's a loose jerk on the left, salt in the middle, and I have black pepper. I would say I use about a tablespoon of the loose jerk seasoning, a tablespoon of salt, and about a teaspoon of the black pepper is what I'm using. All right, but like I said, everything will be listed. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my onions up. I usually slice them in my hand. You can, you know, slice with caution, all right? But slicing these in my hand, that's what I'm used to doing. And you can actually slice them any way you prefer. I just like when mine nice and round looks this way. Um, but you can cut them down the middle and, you know, slice them a different way if that's what you prefer. So, all right. So I'm just going to clean up my carrot. See, I'm just shredding it. The same shredder is what I'm going to use to <laughs> peel my um, my sweet pepper. Well, actually, slice up my sweet pepper. All right. So just getting the outside layer of the um, the carrot off. Just clean it up nice because you don't want the outside part for some reason will turn brown. You don't want that. You don't want that in your um, in your escabeche sauce. All right. So this is what I'm gonna be using to, to slice my pepper. It's one of these multi-use, multi-function, peeler, shredder, everything in one. You can also find that on my Amazon storefront as well. Just make everything nice and uniform and you don't have to be cutting up nothing with your hands. So I even use this to shred cabbage as well. So, all right. I was only gonna use my red sweet pepper, but I think I have another piece of sweet pepper in the refrigerator, which is a green one. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss some green one on here. Hey, it's just for the colors. I just like see different pops of colors. Just looks so, you know, it's like eating the rainbow. Nice, different color. So I'm using the same tool to, to peel my, um, the green sweet pepper. So make sure you grab one of these as well. So this tool, look how nice it drew lines, the carrot. You can also pick this up on Amazon. My um, storefront, I'll list, I'll put the link in my description box. It just make it so nice. You don't have to sit there trying to cut it up with a knife. Look how easy it makes it. They all come out the same size, probably different length. Um, just depends on how you're holding the carrot, but it makes everything look nice and uniform. So I have everything on the plate and I am gonna set this aside and I'm gonna get back into my fish. So I'm gonna have everything going all at once when it's on the stove.
Alright, so my fish is ready and waiting while it's over there waiting. I'm gonna go ahead and get this skillet going. This is a 16 inch skillet. You can add large fishes all in one go. I'm about to drop all four fishes in this. So that's why I love this. Um, it's a value skillet also on Amazon. Alright, so let me just go ahead and slice these fishes. I usually just put, a, actually not slice, just put a little slit is what I'm doing. Usually at the farmer's market, you can tell them to make a little slit for you because I'm going to drop the season in. You know, make sure it's seasoned inside, outside as well. So that's why I always put a little slits on both sides to get the season in. So the combination of seasoning that I showed earlier, which is the loose jerk seasoning, salt, and a little black pepper. Just mixed it all up and I'm rubbing everything in. Make sure you get it in the those little slits that we added. And you know, just drizzle outside. And I'm also gonna make sure I have it on the inside as well. Cause you know, some people eat the fish down to the head, the teeth, the the eyes. I have my arm. They'll eat the fish down to the eye. A nice seasoned fish, but yeah, it's, 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 that's the way we eat it in Jamaica. So not me, it's some people. I, I like the bottom of the fish better. The tail is my favorite part, so that's what I eat. All right, so there we have it. Everything is looking good, moving right along. I got my onions and um, carrots, sweet pepper ready. To go in that front pot i'm gonna go ahead and drop a scallion and i'm gonna go ahead and drop a piece of garlic and the scotch bonnet pepper to season up my oil because i'm gonna drop the fishes right right in there tell me that don't look good already it's like your mouth just starts salivating just looking at it like wow this is about to be on just looking at it <laughs> it was so good oh my goodness so good so good all right so there's a fish I'm gonna go ahead and drop them in all right one by one you can turn them in any direction you want because this this pot is just that big see I actually have about um about three quarter inch of oil in this um, in this pan look at that I'm putting these fishes in and so much more space. I could actually, I could have actually fit like five if I would have turned one the other way. So that's why I needed this. I couldn't deal with frying um, all these large fishes and the tail hanging out. So this make it so easy. And see, four large fish, one go. And because these are excavation fish, I'm frying them all the way through. Give it about anywhere from seven to 10 minutes on each side on medium heat. So you can see the oil is already almost covering um, them laying in there. So give it to about, yeah, five to seven, sorry, seven to 10 minutes on each side. All right, so while See, I already flipped them, it's almost ready. I'm gonna go ahead and use that same oil that I'm frying my fish in to start up my escaviche sauce. There's two different versions of escaviche. This version and then there's another one where I pickle it to let it sit in the refrigerator if I'm eating anything and I wanna top it. So this is a different version. I'm gonna do a video for the other version as well. So take, um, take notes here. So I'm using the same oil, it's already that seasoned oil. I'm dropping right here in this little pan, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my ingredients. All right, and as you can see, my whole spread, my rice and peas is over there to the side cooking. All right, so I'm just moving right along. Um, it's 
when when I'm cooking like this, I'm like all hands or actually all burners on deck because I'm the only hand on deck. So all my burners are being utilized. I got this one going in the front. I got that one going in the back. I got that one going to the side. So while the fish is um, almost completed, go ahead and start this. So by the time the fish is finished, this will be ready. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop the onions in first. I also have on here um, the pimento seeds, probably like um, six to 10 of those. I don't crush them when I put them in this because I pick them right out at the end. It's just giving it flavor. There's garlic in there and you can see I have the green sweet pepper along with the red sweet pepper. So everything is, you know, I'm gonna let it saute for a few minutes before I add in my additional ingredients. And I usually put the, the scotch bonnet in last because you don't want to put the scotch bonnet in first. It's going to make it too spicy. You won't be able to eat it. So looks like one piece did get away. Let me go ahead and add a little bit more oil. But I'm going to go ahead and, you know, flip this around um, for a few minutes. Not too long because you still want to keep them crunchy. So I don't cook this long. Once everything is in and the, the vinegar and the water start bubbling up a little I, I shut it off so everything can stay nice and still look fresh and crunchy so i got the scotch i got everything in now um scotch bonnet sweet peppers the onions pimento seed garlic everything is in all right so next i'm just gonna add a little water i'm using about a fourth of a cup of vinegar and probably like half a cup of water because i don't want it too um too watery so still have that nice escabeche flavor all right there's the water which is like I said half a cup of water and I'm gonna use a quarter cup of vinegar always balance them out because you don't want it to have that strong acid taste so that's why all right so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little seasoning I'm using about a half a teaspoon of the fish seasoning and I'm using about a teaspoon of some brown sugar just to balance that the acidity in it so it doesn't taste too vinegary so it gives it a nice little combination and I'm gonna also top it with a little salt and pepper it's optional it's just salt and pepper to taste it's not gonna make it over salty but just gonna make everything just right All right, so I'm just flipping it and tossing around for a few minutes. I am not gonna let it um, cook for too long. I'm just gonna cover it up for a few more minutes. So this doesn't even take more than 10 minutes because once you get everything in, you don't wanna overcook it. Um, so it can still be a little crunchy as well. So don't overcook it. Once you get everything in, get the liquids going, within 10 minutes, um, everything should be off. Just remove it from the heat all right because my fish is about ready i'm gonna cover this up i've already turned off the heat um doesn't need to simmer because the heat is gonna yeah and just turn it off all right heat is gonna make it cook too long so my fish is ready i'm gonna go ahead and remove it add it to a paper towel to get some of the excessive um grease off all right and then i'll be moving to my next step and get my rice and peas finishing up When the fishes are are this big i'm extra careful getting them off the um the pan just use a nice long thong um because they'll break and i don't want my fish to break all right i'll be so disappointed see that one act like it's trying to break already so yeah just get a nice big long thong to get them out the grease all right so let me just move this um, pan out the way shift things up 
get my rice and peas front and centered. I'm gonna, it's actually been um, simmering for about um, 10 minutes with all the ingredients, like the coconut oil, the peas, all the seasoning, everything's already added. So I'm just moving it off to, this, um, to the middle since everything else is already finished cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my rice. Once I add the rice, I usually leave it on medium to high heat until all or most of the water um, has been absorbed. And then I'll turn it down to like a low heat to let it steam. And the steaming process usually take another 10 to 15 minutes. And I'm using half of the basmati extra long grain and I'm using half of the regular long grain. I have a video on here which I did the white rice and I'm gonna do a separate video after this one showing you the rice and peas. Um, they always say don't put spoon in your rice. I'm just mixing it up just to see how much water is in there. So I'm going to turn this up medium to high heat. I'm gonna get all this water or most of this water out before covering it back up to let it steam. All right, so just keep checking it. I'm just sliding my spoon from side to side just to see where we are. Just keep checking back until, like I said, most of the water is gone. Still leave a little for it to steam and then I'm gonna cover it up and let it steam all the way. You can also, if your rice is not fully steamed how you like it, you can always put a foil paper on it or we used to use the saran wrap as well to, to steam it. Some people use plastic bags, like the grocery bags. Just wash out your grocery bag and just put it on there and it'll, you know, just give it a nice little steam. So while the rice is steaming, move right along plantain. I have one plantain left in my refrigerator and I'm like, oh wow, it's to the point where it looks overripe, but it's, it's, it's good. So I'm just gonna fry this plantain while my rice is steaming because everything else is ready. So just moving right along. Just like the fish, just have a paper towel on hand just to drop them on to get some of that grease out as well. All right. All right, so time is moving along and I'm gonna move this to the side. My rice and peas should be about ready. See how nice and shelly that is? Just how I like it. All right, so I'm gonna just get things going, wrap up your dinner and make your plate. So you can drizzle your escovy sauce over the fish, or you can leave it. You don't have to, you know, I like to tie
pop it up, make it look nice. My kids sometimes just like the fish by itself without the sauce, but sometimes I'll move on to the side if that request is made early, but no request was made, so I'm topping it all right here. These fishes are pretty large. I'm gonna basically be probably cutting them in half, at least two of them. All right, so, oh, in the meantime, I forgot my cucumber, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this. This is gonna be quick, so you have time to eat. All right, so I'm gonna make the cucumber. See, I use a shredder to, to peel it down the sides, and then I'm using a fork. The fork just give it that nice little, you know, that little nice little lined um, cucumber. All right, let me just clean up my ear. I always clean as I go, makes things so much easier at the end. All right, so you see how nice the cucumbers come out when you use the fork. Give it that nice little grooves going down the sides. See how it looks like you use a little fancy fancy machine to cut them and you didn't, <laughs> all right? So I'm just doing some cucumbers and um, some tomatoes. That's gonna be my salad for today. So, all right. All right, so I'm just using this one tomato. Um, because for some reason, the salads, it's always get picked over. So I'm not cutting up too much. So, all right. So just a tomato and a cucumber. That's all I'm using today. All right, and once that is done, we are ready to eat. Look at this fabulous spread. I have my fish over there. I got extra extra V sauce. I have my cucumbers, the tomatoes, plantain. Let me give you a double take again. All right. All right, and my rice and peas is right there. Make sure you watch that next video so you can make this same nice Shelly rice and peas if you like your rice and peas like this. All right, so again thanks for watching make sure you comment share with your friends your family go ahead and hit that notification bell um, so when i post that next recipe you'll be the first to be notified all right and go ahead and subscribe so you can stay tuned to see what i have coming next got some great things in store all right so i'm just making this plate right here at that rice and peas See how nice the escovy sauce look? Still got some color. Like I said, don't overcook it. All right, just drizzle some of that vinaigrette sauce on top and see you on the next video. Bye.